Good morning, everyone. This is Robert here at Daybird Aviaries. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a macaw feeder. Y'all hold still. Hey, guys. I want to show you what I found on the, these food buckets. Look. What is that? I think they are seed plants. That is sunflower seeds that have sprouted. Yeah. Give them to the chickens. Y'all remember us making these new cages for the macaws that came to live here. And so far, we've just been having to open up the door to replenish their pellets and sprouted seed. Now you can see that Ingrid has eaten all of her sprouts and just has some pellets in there. We're going to get her some more sprouts and some fresh vegetables. And here is the movie star herself. Isn't she beautiful? And this is what we are going to to build for her cage. This is on Doodle's cage now. I still haven't gotten the two of them together. This gives us access to the food and water bowls from outside the cage. So let's get started on that. Okay, folks, so to get started with, you have to determine what bowl you're going to use. So we got these nice stainless steel bowls, and we have determined that they are a little less than nine inches across. This wire is one inch by one inch wire. So you can use a measuring tape or you can just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna build this so that it will hold three bowls. This piece of wire is going to be the bottom of the feeder. And so it is 27 inches long. We're actually going to use three pieces of wire that's 27 inches long. The base piece is going to be nine inches wide. That's going to hold three bowls. That's going to be three squares. It's nine by nine. That's, that's going to be the base. Like I said, the bowls will rest on that. This piece will be the front. It is six inches by 27 inches. And we're going to do something special with that. And of course, Fred has to chime in also. And then we have another little additional piece that is just two inches wide. Again, it is 27 inches long. And in addition to that, we're gonna need four pieces that are four inches by nine inches. These are gonna be the, the two ends and the two dividers between the three bowls. And you can see I have notched out one end and I'll show you what we're gonna do with that. And lastly, we're going to need three doors. Those are pieces, those are 6 inches by 10 inches or 11 inches. Um, that doesn't have to be quite as precise. I'll show you that in a moment. Okay, we got this piece. This, okay, this is the piece that I said was going to be the front. It is 6 inches this way and 27 inches that way. What we're going to do is, I'm going to use my hands, I don't have a sheet metal brake, I don't have specialized tools, I'm just going to use good old fashioned brute force, and I'm going to bend this at the 4 inch mark along this wire. I'm going to bend it and that's going to form a lip on the front edge of that. This will, will sit upright and then the lip will be formed that way. So I'm going to do that now. We're going to pause the video and come back in just a moment. Recording. All right, you can see I have that bent. It didn't take a lot. Um, again, you can buy specialized tools if you want to. I don't have those yet. I need to invest in those. But this is going to be the front, and this will be the, 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 the front lip. The birds will actually sit on here, and the bowls will be underneath here. So what we're going to do is connect this bottom piece to this front piece here. And we're going to use the little clips and this tool that, that I showed you in another video. And I'll leave a link to that. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. And we'll be right back. Okay, we have that attached. We, this is the front that's attached to the bottom. And it has the lip on it that we bent. So we're going to take one of these pieces that's 4 inches by 9 inches, and it's going to be the end that goes here. And you remember that we cut that out? 
That's because it's going to sit in there just like this. And that way there's not going to be a sharp corner protruding up into the birdcage and they're not going to hurt themselves on that. So I'm going to go ahead and clip this together and we'll be right back. Recording. Okay, you can see that I have both ends attached to here and it's starting to take real shape. So what we're going to do now is I have the two dividers and we're going to put those in at nine inches. So this one will go here. And again, I'm just me using these to measure with because I know that they are nine inches in length. That one will go there. And this will give space for the three bowls. One will be for water, one will be for pellets, and one will be for sprouts and fruit. So I'm gonna get these clipped in. And again, we'll be right back. Okay, I have the dividers in. And how this will work is that this side will go up against the cage and we'll cut an opening on the cage so that we can slide the bowls in from the outside. And it will work just as simple as that. The problem, however, is that the bird standing here will be able to get the bowl and pull it right out. So what we're going to do is that's where this comes in and that's going to prevent the bird from picking up on the bowl. Also, it will provide additional support that we're able to attach to the cage. So I'm going to get this attached and we'll be right back. Recording. Okay, so you can see I have this on and it is going to prevent the birds from taking the bowls out. So now the only thing that's left is go and install it on the cage. So come on, let's go do that. All right, so I have that attached, so now I'm just going to have to cut this out so that we can stick the bowl into the basket. And Miss Ingrid up there is excited as can be. And now for the big moment. Let's see if I have clipped all the wires. I did! It's successful! Yay! We have the door flaps installed. And we're just going to use a simple hasp for now. It well to hold that. I have it set up with three different flaps. The outer two actually overlap the middle one. Let me put a clip on here. We'll use this middle one when we need to when we're feeding sprouts and fruit and things like that. But for now she has a bowl of pellets and a bowl of clean water. It's got a few dry seeds mixed in with the pellets. This is greatly going to simplify our lives make things easier for all of us and of course with everything in life the easier we can make it the more likely we're going to do it properly so now when i'm having to ask the the boys to come out and help feed a martyr i know that they're actually going to change out the water bowl and to clean the feed bowl and Miss Ingrid is just perfect and beautiful. She's enjoying the sunshine. Tell all our friends bye-bye, Ingrid. Can you tell them bye-bye? Well, everybody, thank you for watching. I know there's a million different ways that you can 
devise and design and build feeders, feeder holders for your animals. And don't think that just because you don't have macaws that this isn't going to be useful for you. Obviously, you can use this for any kind of bird, for chickens or, or even turkeys or quail or anything that you keep in a cage. Small animals like rabbits and guinea pigs and monkeys and coyotes and kinkajous and whatever it is that you may have. I still haven't gotten these two together yet, but we're about to. We're going to do that real soon. They're very interested in one another. Sweetie, you got to climb up on top of the stick. Everybody, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe. It, it would be... I, I would count that a, as an actual personal favor to me if you were to click that subscribe button. I would really appreciate that. Thank you for watching. Leave us a comment down below. God bless you. Bye-bye.